we will start with chapter number 8 that is the cell structural and functional unit you have already learned and studied about living and non living in the previous classes along with that you studied a bit about cell what is cell how it functions etc on the basis of their functions and organism can carry out its life process different sets of organs performs the various functions in this chapter you shall learn about the basic structural unit of an org organ which is the cell cell may be compared to bricks as bricks are assembled to make a building similarly the cells are assembled to make the body of every organism. Now we will study about the discovery of the cell. Robert Hooke, a scientist in 1665, observed slices of cork under a simple magnifying device. Cork, what is, what might you might be thinking, what is a cork? It is a part of the bark of a tree. He took thin slices of cork and observed them under a microscope made by himself. He noticed partitions, boxes or compartments in the cock of the slice. These boxes, as you can see in the picture, appeared like a honeycomb. He also noticed that one box was separated from the other by a wall or partition. Robert Hooke coined that, that term cell for each box but the cell is the cork but cell in the cork were actually dead cells because it was taken from the bark of a tree a proper information about the cells of a living organisms could be observed only after the discovery of an was observed only after the discovery of an improved microscope and Robert Hooke initially observations for about later than 150 years a very little was known about cell to everybody but today we know a lot about the cell structure and its functions because of improved microscope having high magnification as you can see in the picture an eyepiece a body along with two objectives high power and low power nose piece and a stage is there where the specimens or the objects to be kept light and base now we will study about the cell as for making buildings bricks of different design shapes and sizes are required similarly cell are also of different design shapes and sizes that's why cell are the fundamental structural units of living organisms and they are the basic units of life you can see the picture how it's making a block wise and making a complete structural unit cells are of two type basically from the very beginning prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells prokaryotic cells sizes generally from small from 1 to 10 micrometers or maximum 1 micrometer to 10 to the, 10 to 6 meters the nucleus is not well defined means not developed well developed and known as nucleoid single circular and chromosome in that only everything is there and membrane bound organelles are absent the examples of prokaryotic cells are bacteria cell they don't have a proper nucleus well defined nucleus which can be seen it's a form of a nucleoid we will study in further about all these things in this chapter next is your eukaryotic cells the size generally is very larger 5 to 100 micrometers the nucleus is well defined you can see the nucleus prominently and surrounded by a nuclear membrane rounding itself possesses more than one or and linear chromosomes you mm, just can imagine about a human being x and y chromosomes those are the linear chromosomes and membrane bound cell organelles are absented example is your human cell in this chapter we will study more in further about the prokaryotic cell eukaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell how 
and what are the different parts of the cell so with this today we end up the chapter in the next class we'll proceed with it thank you you can see the picture of eukaryote and a prokaryote a cell thank you